Today we're going to attempt to get the 1966 Collegiate going. We'll focus on the bike's main issues. We're doing this mainly to determine if there are any other hidden problems. Obviously, this will not reveal all hidden issues, but a good shakeout never hurts. We have an old 37597 gum wall tire we can use for the initial repair. We will also use a new tube. Tubes don't need to be exact, but they need to be close. We are using a 37590 tube, which will be fine. These are some of the other parts we have available to us. Seat, pedals, fender hardware, reflector, rim strips, brake pads, and cables. We may end up using some of them during the initial repair. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's get started. Okay class, does anybody know what the main issue with the bike is? Yes. It's old and ugly. Out. Anyone else? Yes. The back tire? Well, the back tire is an issue, but it's not the issue. How about a hint? One man's luxury is another man's necessity. Actually, having the correct rear fender brace hardware is important on these 5-speed derailleur bikes. Incorrect hardware can interfere with the chain when shifting to 5th gear. The narrow style nuts are an absolute necessity. Don't even think about it.
The jokes just write themselves with this bike. As you can see, the front wheel is not properly aligned. This may not seem like much of an issue, but if you look closely, you can see the front brake pad is not aligning with the rim. It is somewhere in no man's land between the rim and the tire. Keep in mind, 70% of braking is from the front on these handbrake bikes. I can imagine what happened here. The guy buys the wrong tire. He finds it's impossible to get it on the rim. The bead is binding on that pesky rim strip. He pulls the rim strip off and uses electrical tape instead. He makes a second attempt to mount the tire. It's a struggle, but he finally succeeds. He pumps up the tire. It's not seating properly, but who cares? It's on. The sharp edges of the spoke nipples quickly pierce the electrical tape. The tube never had a chance. Both the tire and the guy are deflated. So we put the correct tire, rim strip, and tube on the back wheel. We put the correct hardware on the rear fender brace, and we adjusted the front wheel and brakes. The bike doesn't ride great, but it rides. I think the rear bearings are binding. The derailleur probably needs adjusting as well, but we know everything works. Well, that turned out okay. So, what's next? We start the teardown. That's all for now. And remember, it's only original once. Take care.